I wanted to get out as quickly as I possibly could. I didn't want to be detained again. Um, I was frightened. I'd been um, threatened several times with being beaten up and all that sort of thing by the right wing people. And uh, I always think discretion is much the greatest part of valor as far as I'm concerned. I haven't got much, um, you know, uh, courage of this sort of respect. Your trial brought about a confrontation between the church and the state. What do you think that it achieved? What it's achieved, I think the appeal decision has achieved a, jolly, a, a good deal, not just for the church, but for South Africa, because I think that liberal-minded people now can heave a sigh of relief and know that they can say things and do things um, which they might have been afraid to do before the appeal decision was given. You've been described as a prophet of violence. How do you react to that? I don't believe any organised violence would have a chance there because, as I say, the, the, the African government is very sophisticated in its surveillance of um, people whom I think are troublesome. But if something like Sharpeville happened, you know, sort of spontaneous thing of this kind, I think it might just lead to the most awful carnage. Do you hope eventually to return to South Africa? Um, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I love the place. I, I, I've lived there since 1933. But I abominate the way it's run. I just can't do with it. Um, so I just don't know what the answer to that question is. And you don't think you could do any more about it? I don't think I could, no. I think that my guns have now been spiked.